The Sikh community in Malaysia is relatively small in population, but their contribution to the country's history and development is very significant. The Sikhs were the descendants of a diaspora of Sikhs from their homeland in Punjab, India, dating back to the 1900s. Along with them came the Sikhism religion and their rich heritage. Sikhs were first employed in China and Hong Kong for law and order. After that, the Sikhs came to Singapore and Malaya. Tracing back in history, the first Sikhs who came to the then Malaya were two political prisoners. Nihal Singh, or better known as Bai Maharaj Singh, and Karak Singh were thrown out of India in the 1800s due to their anti-British involvement. The process of migration of Sikhs into the country started again in the 1900s. This time, they were recruited into the armed forces in the British Empire during World War I and World War II to fight against the Japanese invasion of Malaya and Singapore. During World War II, 3,400 Sikh soldiers laid down their lives to seek independence for Malaya and this was proven in the historic Battle of Kampa. According to researcher and writer of Sikh history, Harchand Singh Bedi, this battle proved that the Sikh soldiers were superior and fearless in fighting against the Japanese. I always believe that a Sikh must be a, a soldier by himself and also a priest by himself. So these are two identities a Sikh must have himself. He must be a soldier. I think by our, 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 our gurus have uh, embedded this into us that, uh, you know, that's why they call us as a saint soldiers. We are also a saint, we are also a soldier. Harchand Singh's research has provided a rare glimpse into Sikh history that many never knew. Uh, sorry, 60% of the, uh, the recruitment in the country or, or were represented by the British Indian Army. Yeah? So if you look at the, uh, the Kampa sector and wherever you go, the, the frontline fighters were basically the Indian Army, whereas the commanding officers, the commanding officers were all uh, British and Australians. So this is where many people are not aware of, of that because we, well, we came from India and all the while we, uh, British has colonized India in Malaya and, and many other uh, places. So it was under the British flag. So wherever we go, the only name appear that uh, the forces represented British. You know, we were all from the British Army. But at the end of the day, when you, uh, when you go in details, the British Indian Army, when you look at the, uh, the recruits were recruited, were basically the Indians. After the war, the British offered the soldiers jobs in Singapore and Malaya, and that is how the Sikhs left Punjab and moved to settle here. After the war ended here, yeah, um, uh, most of them uh, uh, went back and they came back later and they joined with the uh, civil services. Okay, they were recruited as uh, uh, security guards and then, you know, they were recruited in the civil services. Uh, they were working in, in the office uh, ran by the British. They were working in the plantations. Okay, they were also working the, uh, in the mining office uh, in, in the country itself. The British force had very high regard for the Sikhs and they preferred to recruit the Amrit Dari or the baptised soldiers. The British preferred to recruit Amritaris. That, that is a, a very uh, uh, a clear fact. If you look at the documentary uh, evidence here, the Sikhs were actually uh, Amritari Sikhs, the baptised Sikhs were recruited in the British uh, forces simply because they don't consume alcohol, they don't smoke and most of them were all vegetarian. 
Soon after the migration of Sikhs into the country, the establishment of Gurdwaras, the Sikhs' place of worship, began. Wherever they are there, they will make a, a, a temporary Gurdwaras. There are now about 138 Gurdwaras in the country which have become a focal point for the Sikh religion, cultural and community activities. Together with other multi-racial communities in the country, the Sikhs also played a pivotal role in the development of Malaysia. You know, there is a term, Tana Tupa Nidaraku. So I believe that uh, uh, many others, a lot of people from all around has actually uh, died defending the country. So I would always say that, uh, well, we are, Malish, uh, we, are, we are Malaysian now, we are very happy living in a country, uh, a peaceful country where nothing to worry of and, uh, you know, we have established ourselves in a country called Malaysia. The same goes to others who have actually established themselves in many other countries but originated from uh, Punjab, India itself. But we are not forgetting our roots that, uh, you know, we are proud. Uh, we, are, we are Punjabis living in the country uh, in Malaysia.